Listen, we know that you love threading, and we know that for 99% of your threading needs, async task is the right solution. But for the other work, you might need a different kind of threading primitive. My name is Colt McCandless, and for the types of work that might not deal with UI updates, handler threads are a nifty solution. Uh, see, when it comes to threading work, most devs have a round trip model. Uh, you've got some work, you want it tossed from the UI thread to some other thread, and then when the work needs to come back to the UI thread, you've got to update some visual thingamajigger or whatever. Uh, for these types of situations, async task is obviously the easiest solution for you. I mean, it wraps up all the overhead of pushing work from the UI thread to a worker thread and then getting the results back to the UI thread. But async task isn't the right threading primitive for every situation. Uh, consider the challenge of getting preview frames from your camera. These previews are given back to you via the on preview frame callback, which is invoked on the same thread that the camera.open function was called on. So if this callback were invoked on the UI thread, then the task of dealing with those huge pixel arrays would be interfering with rendering and event processing work. Uh, and same thing goes for async task. Remember that by default, these execute serially on another thread, which means that dealing with an eight megapixels block of data might stall other async task packets that the UI thread is waiting on. So really what you want is a non-UI, non-async task thread that can receive these callbacks and potentially spend a long time processing that work. And this is exactly what handler thread is for. Uh, see, a handler thread is effectively a long running thread that grabs work from a queue and operates on it. It's a combination of a few other Android primitives, namely a looper, which keeps the thread alive and holds a message queue, and a handler object, which manages how work is inserted into that message queue. Anyhow, getting back to our camera example. Once you've created a handler thread, you can delegate the camera.open command to it and know that the on preview frame callback will land on the handler thread rather than the UI or async task threads. So if you're gonna be doing a long running block of work on those pixels, this is ideal for you. And to be clear, getting the results of that work back to the UI thread is pretty straightforward. Just pass it along with the run on UI thread command. So handler threads are obviously helpful for other Android APIs that follow a similar pattern, but they can also be useful for longer running non-UI work, like uh, compressing a batch of user metrics before uploading it to your server. If you've got other UI specific tasks happening on async task, then you might not want this longer running operation to stall that work. So handler threads are a good place for it. Uh, oh, by the way, when you create a handler thread, don't forget to set its thread priority based on the type of work it's doing. I mean, remember, CPUs can only handle a small number of threads in parallel. So setting the priority helps the system know the right ways to schedule this work when the other threads are fighting for attention. And that's the whole thing when it comes to performance coding. You have to understand enough about the primitives to know how they help you and how they might hurt you. And if it's not working, move on to a better pattern, which is why you should check out the rest of the Android performance patterns videos. And don't forget to ask the hard threading questions on the Google Plus community as well. So keep calm, profile your code, and always remember, perf matters.